264. Challenge Rift, 264. Upper Paragon, yes. I definitely need to do my challenge rip, my, my, uh, capping my battle pass. I cannot not cap my battle pass. Might be able to carry people at 265 now. The way that I'm going right now is pretty fast. Not gonna lie. This is going pretty quick. I destroyed this yellow so quick. Yo, this boss will spawn all the way at the beginning of the dungeon and you're freaking kidding me. This bug is stupid. Have you guys had this bug where the boss spawn all the way at the beginning of the dungeon? Then he goes back to original spot and then you gotta run back. Why do people not like you when other people open the chest on the fourth floor? Oh, it's because there's no there's no issues in opening the chest on the fourth floor. But I mean, there is an issue. The immortals get the immortals get more if you open a chest on the fourth floor. You don't want to open the chest on the fourth floor until the 
You don't want to open the chest on the fourth floor until you kill the immortals. Radio. You wait to kill the immortals and then you open the chest. Wait to kill the immortals and then open the chest. Okay, so that gives me my challenge rift done. I think I can carry people at 265 now. Let me see if I can do 267. Actually, I want to see if I can do 270. Let's see what happens if I get in a 270. That was way too easy. I haven't done challenge rift in so long. 543 lower. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Poison spider is even worse. Seventy is a little bit too bold. I need. I mean, I need to have like an amazing pull. Yeah, just kill me. It's five hundred CR lower. So maybe I can do like. 77 or 67 yeah it might be good 67 maybe 68 i'll leave these two for when i have another challenge rift thing how many crystals i need 700 to level up right anyway it's good to know that i was able to do 265. I might be able to carry people at 265. Bacon, you want to challenge Rift carry? 265. Did you do 265? I think we did 265 together. Several hundred. These crystals are so expensive. Rift. 
Override. So. Two sixty five and two sixty six. I'm running two sixty four and two sixty three still. Guys, that was hot. Please show some love to our legend, Vintage Cutter. Um. Broke 13,000 CR bacon. Oh. I do have to do one more vault actually. I have to do one more vault. to do one more vault.
Yeah, I have eight more chests to open. believe I didn't get a single Lego this week. I think it's because I did not do vaults in the beginning of the week, like on the morning vault. Like the morning vault is the trick to get the legendary. We go. It's go time, baby.
Double Crusader. Fuck! You can't beat Zeus's. Two Zeus and Cap Snake and Krish is impossible to beat, man. Those guys just cock blocked us, man. I have one more chest to open. Frick. Paragon 130. With the Crusader Green Day. Um, it depends. Do you want to go free to play or do you want to have five stars down the line? I need one more chest so I can get this. I can rank up to Phantom. Actually. Black. That brings me to Phantom 3. Yeah, I got one more chest to open. Um, but I kept a better pass, man. Six minutes. So, Green Day, you didn't answer my question, bro. Are you, you trying to be free to play or are you trying to spend some money in the game? Like, where do you want to go? Now, what I liked for the Crusader, regardless, there is a two star gem or a one star gem that I really liked called Defiant Soul that I think supplements the build with Condemn and having Block with the Hardened Senses. Um, I think the fine so is a great gem for that build. If I was back in my Crusader uh, playing these heavy condemned builds that people would be playing with the Crusader right now, I would be rocking that one star gem because I think it's awesome for that build. Um, I think the fine so is a great gem for the Crusader with the block build. Uh, between using the fine so, so like Bottle Hope, you gotta have Bottle Hope, Green Day. You gotta have. Um,
You gotta have Vault of Hope. Blessing of the Worthy. Blessing of the Worthy is really good with that build. Um, Blessing of the Worthy, Vault of Hope. The One Star Defiant Soul. And knowing how that build is nowadays, I would do it a little different. I'm not going to lie. Let me see what else would supplement that build. I mean, is the, is Condemn a beneficial effect, first of all? If it is, I would throw the Blessed Pebble in there. Um... Duration of your absorbed shields are increased by 36, and they also. I, I would even throw Hearthstone, man. I would throw the Blessed Pebble, Hearthstone, Defiant Soul, three one star gems. I was I would throw the Blessed Pebble, Hearthstone, and Defiant Soul. Those are three one star gems I would throw into Crusader, and then throw in Blessing of the Worthy. Um, throw in Bottle Hope, and. Frozen Heart? Oh my god, that would be so dangerous for Lucas Sayer. You got a 5 star Howlers? Did you use that 5 star Howlers? I would sell it, bro. If it's Unbound, I would sell that 5 star Howlers, man. Bottle Hope, Bless and Defiant Soul, Bless Pebble, or already have a Hearthstone. Yeah. I mean, the Howler Skull, I would get rid of it. If, if you have it unbound, for sure, my dude, get rid of it. Let's go with the monk. Fifteen hundred. On the low side, I want to get a difficult match. Eh. Wizard? Well, we lost Olo, so yeah, let's take a whiz. Cause we lost Olo. So that supplements the party. Queen, you can't do vaults. For some reason, you can't do vault, Queen. So sorry, I gotta kick you out.
if you can sell that five star howler skull sell that green day get 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 as much blenum as you can for that gem and then you can use that to rank up your other gems i mean that five star howler skull should sell for let me see on my server i don't think i have one of those for sale and i don't even know how much they would go for your server but um my server is selling for five hundred and twelve thousand. um i don't know if there's none on your server i would put on the 600s um i would try to sell it man for sure get rid of that gem and um use that to rank up so here's the thing your one star gems it's really really cheap for you to get your one star gems to rank five and they are going to give you plus to magic fine and they're going to unlock the second ability that the one star gems do um so i would get your one star gems to rank five they don't even need the duplicates they only need gem power um and of course buy the cheapest gem power that you can um but i will get your one star gems to rank five and then focus on getting your bottle hope um to rank five as well and then focus on getting your um just get all your gems to rank five get all your all your six gems to rank five um that's going to bring you to um to become a much much better player um the defiant soul though that defiant soul i kind of want you to take it to 10 i mean i want to take a defiant soul to 10. um you should really really try to take your one star gems to rank 10 because you're going to be able to awaken your gear i would much rather you take your one star gems to rank 10 which you will be able to do so versus you trying to take your five star gems to rank 10 which you're not going to be able to do so one because you don't have the duplicates needed for it nor the money needed for it neither does your store I mean, not know your server is not going to have that kind of inventory neither so i would say you know take all your gems to five but then pick i know the defiant souls awaken uh gem ability is reduce the damage you take and reduce the damage you take while moving and reduce the damage you take while surfing also control like that's really beneficial um i would try to take your defiant soul and your blessed pebble to rank 10. those are those are I'll take all your one star to gem 10. they only you only need like 196 gem power to take your one stars to jet to rank 10 and if you can sell that five star howlers you're going to have enough money for you to do that that way you're also going to unlock the additional abilities of your gear and that's going to make you like have a lot of fun in the game you're going to be so strong a crusader with like three rank one gems with three awaken abilities it's insane You're welcome, man. Good luck. The wizard's one shot. Ah, uh, get the wizard, he's one shot. Got him. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. Let's go. 
I saw that Phoenix proc and I was like, yep, that dude is dead. I just my first green gloves and I'm sitting pretty green on my feet and belt. Nice. Nice, nice. Just go for high CR, man. If you guys are low level, low paragon level, just I don't even care about set bonuses at this point in the game. There's no point. Everything's too easy. You're leveling so quick. You need to get as much CR as you can. Whatever sums up on the attributes that gives the most points, put that on. And just keep on trucking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys are gonna level so quick, man. That 100% experience is insane. I won't be able to keep up with the gear, so that's what I'm saying. Like, just go for CR. Don't care about... Like, I just dropped... Well, my main character, I just... Today, I just... I took down a triple... Uh, triple double that I had with three lines of attributes. And I just replaced four or two lines of attributes because it increased my CR by 18 points. Like, go for the CR. Whatever gives you more CR. To me, if it's one CR additional, I'm like, I'm, I'm down. I'm not gonna say no. All right, that does it. All right. So, Path of Blood done. Assembly done. Vaults done. All vaults done. Contract done. Everything done. I got no additional shadow quests. Done for the week. Got to Phantom 3. I have a thousand shadow marks coming in the mail. I am done. I just gotta do the dungeons. I gotta do the dungeons. I gotta cap this battle pass. I have one day in six hours. So, um, and we got raids to do there. Change my gear. Licoring warm. And Molten Golem. With Treasure Hunter. Warband Room. Warband Room. I'm even going to switch to... Oh, <laughs> I had the wrong Warband Room the entire time I was doing PvP today. I wasn't block kept. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well... Now I know. Close to... So we'll get 200 points from doing raids. We're still going to have to do a couple of purges. Oh, nobody in Warband responded. So I'm going to put Temple on Amari parties myself. Oh, no. All the responded. Why oh, can't I invite... Clicky, clicky. Why isn't clicking? Why can I click on the guy's name to invite him? What is happening? Actually, what's the dungeon plus two? 
or gun tower in Amari and Amari and Amari spam. Don't trust the CR Vikings. The C this is the CR right here. Uh, the, so you're, what's going to give your CR of your gear is your attributes. Is the sum of your attributes. Okay? So for example, let me give you a perfect example. Right? Like right now, if I sum up these values that I, this is what I have equipped right now. If I sum up these values, 244 plus 243 plus 245 i have 732 okay this gives me 732 if i sum up these right here i get uh 344 plus 346 is 690 okay this is 732 so if i equipped this 690 so i'll take 732 minus 690 that means that I will lose 42 CR if I equipped this gear. So let's go to my character. I'm at 13,007. Okay. If I equip this, I'm going to lose 42. So there you go. You add 42 to here. 4 brings to 13,000. And plus 2 brings the 5 to a 7. Right. So the total sum of the attributes is going to equate to your combat rating. Not this. Don't look at this. Not the green arrows, not the score, the attributes. It's what's going to sum up to your CR. You're welcome. Every time when you have a piece of loot before you sell it, even if it's loot that doesn't does not have the green arrow, sum up those attributes because there are many scenarios where where those green arrows does not show to you that it is that it is an upgrade. Like there's gears that won't give you the green arrow, and it's a clear upgrade, but for some forsaken reason does not give you the green arrows. Sum up every single time. Don't let one of them escape sum all of them the total sum of the attributes is your combat rating You're welcome, Green Day. <laughs> don't sell any piece of legendary. Don't sell any gear until you sum up the attributes. The total sum of the attributes is your combat rating. No. Man. which is top of the food chain in the album Immortal. I mean, the combat rating is everything on the PvE side of things. When it comes to the PvP, it doesn't matter. Like my PvP gear, I have like 500 or 600 CR less than my maximum CR right now. The CR really doesn't matter as much in PvP. 
um, like maybe 10 percent <laughs> I mean your attributes matter they help you know when you have for example like willpower it increases your potency it increases your resistance when you have fortitude it increases your armor and armor penetration right like they help and having you know more willpower more fortitude will help the secondary attributes a little bit but resonance is everything because resonance on the pvp side of things it multiplies it's a multiplicativity it's a multiply it's a multiplication and multiplication Blah, 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 of your gear and so um res is king for pvp cr is king for everything else besides pvp Yeah, Bottle Hope is, is, a, is a big one, man. Bottle Hope is really big for the Crusader. Um, both PvE, PvP, uh, it's a big one.
That's why I don't like doing freaking party finder, bro. One time you asked me to do it. Oh yes, you <laughs> are. I think everybody's ready for that game, man. Thank you. That was me. Everybody's totally ready for the format. It's really sad at the pace that the updates on this game and the up, you know, upgrade update content in this game has been going at so I can say everybody's really excited for something different
well d4 apparently is going to be like from a youtube video i saw that was um i don't know if it was paid actors or if it was actual developers or who it was but they were only speaking good things about it um how it's going to have over 150 dungeons and it's going to have all these crazy zones that once you eradicate all the evils of the zone the zone will become a friendly zone and you can have towns in different zones and merchants in different zones or you can like like you can interact with the map which to be honest i find that to be perhaps innovative of its own right like if you think about it right like you go through the quest line so to speak and you go through realm of damnation and you kill all the minions and you do the quest line and you clear the zone up theoretically there's no more demons on that zone you have eradicated all the demons out of that zone right so why are demons and constantly respawning in the game it kind of like kills the storyline really there's no storyline if demons are just respawning over and over and over and over and it becomes very repetitive very grinding i don't know if you think about it like like we all rationals we're not dumb you know like it was a cool concept as a child growing up early phases of video game mentality just make a mob respawn again and you can kill it over and over and over and over and over but what if you just did a zone once you eradicate all the demons from that zone now you save the town the town can be live in peace but then if the town is not protected the demons can go back in there and take and reconquer the town again like that just sounds like you know kind of like a real world scenario if you go in you were king of your country of your land back in them days and you you know go with your army and you conquer a fort but then you don't leave behind enough demons to or soldiers to protect your keep you can lose that back to the enemy that's a little bit more of like a reasonable mentality of nowadays i think that would keep us like you know think about it if you have 150 zones that you gotta protect and defend it's a lot oh yes we're very far from diablo 1 mentality and <laughs> d1 d2 i even like i mean d1 was really nice it's, like i hope a lot of people maybe i don't think anybody would actually play diablo 1 but diablo 1 and diablo 2 was really nice diablo 1 per se was so innovative for its time it's still good today it's still a great game today even d2 and you know what those games have that this game has that this game shouldn't have that those games didn't have monks they don't belong on the storyline of this game. Get rid of them. If you throw a pole, what would you rather have? A druid or a monk? I'm pretty sure everybody would select the druid. The druid would win. <laughs> Good times indeed.
Nice.
Wait, didn't you say you got a Howler Skull, a five-star Howler Skull? Or you got a two-star Howler Skull? You got a two out of five Howler Skull, Green Day? Or you got a five out of five Howler Skull? Oh, I thought you had a five out of five Howler Skull, bro. I would still sell it. I thought you said you had a five star. When you say you have a five star Howler Skull, like means you have like a five star Howler Skull. <laughs> when you say you have a two star Howler Skull, then I'm like, all right. gonna wait to sell it you should definitely put it for sale that jam is not so fancy a two-star howlers on my server it's going for 39 41 41 5 I think that's a fair value 41 5 I thought you had a five five out of five for a second. I was happy for that. I was happy for you for a second there, man. A five out of five howler skull like that. That would have paid for all your upgrades. Yeah, it's a good price if you can sell for 45. Really good price. You could sell it for 41, 42. It'll go for that easy. We start bar to hope seventy six thousand. Ooh. Well, here's the thing. Don't worry about getting a three star right now, man. Just go for the two star. Because for you to level it to rank three, you're actually going to need to have a duplicate. So along the way of your playing the game throughout because you're just starting there's no there's no point of like spending all this money on it 
just keep an eye on the market, save your plan and keep an eye on the market. And there are many times, there are many, many times when there's a small saturation in the market, people still want to sell their things. And then they usually take a three star gem and put it very, very close to the price of a two star gem. And at that moment in time is when you do the buy. Um, like you got time in your hands. Like you have that to your vintage. You're welcome, dude. I gotta see if there's a scenario that I can show it to you where this really pertains. So, like, for example, let me give you a perfect example. Let's look something that is saturated, and we know because of the amount of gems that's for sale. So, let's look at Phoenix Actions, for example. Two star ones for 47. 47, 3. 47, 2 is the cheapest. 47, 3. Not big deal. But then look at a three star here. A three star is 50. So from 47 to 50, it's like 3,000 platinum different. It's not that big of a deal. So when you're actually going to get from the rank two to a rank three, you need to have a duplicate. So then you could buy this one. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a perfect example. It's only 3,000 difference, but the resonance is a huge, it's a huge jump in resonance. It's like double the amount of resonance, you know? I mean, a three-star bottle hope, a three-star, it's not going to be cheap, right? But there are times that you can find a good deal when there's a small saturation in the market. I don't open my server, there's never saturation of it. People always buy a lot of it. But there are scenarios, there are times when there's a lot of three-stars available and you can get a good deal. Let me see. The bottle hope right now, there's only five available. 64,000 is the two stars, 73. 795 95 I mean I mean yeah from 64 to 73 is a 9,000 difference there's scenarios where it's cheaper you just gotta always be looking at the market not just once a day you gotta look at the market a few times a day there are peak hours that people play um, for some reason, at the exact moment in time of a daily reset, there's a lot of people playing. There's a huge influx of player at 3 o'clock in the morning, East Coast time, which is my server time. Huge influx of player at that time. Um, which means, you know, around that time, you know, like, if people are playing at 3, they most likely buy... I don't know, four or five things can be in the market for sale. So I'll look at the market around that time. Um, then you have um, like around mid morning, there's some a good amount of players playing around the morning because you have two vault sessions, right? You have a daily vault session and you have the evening vault session. The day vault time, there's a lot of people playing at the daytime vault between the Immortals and Shadows, attacking and defending. So you have a good influx of players, you can have, you can see things in the market. Um, then nighttime, you have a big influx of players as well. So like about three times a day, you can check the market to see things. And especially when somebody does post something new in the market for sale, um, it doesn't really become live into two hours or three hours after the item has been posted. So, you you know, 
We have windows that you can check, which are like prime time windows and you can find things.
And I leveled up without wanting to. Yes, Respite, Respite Stone is a good sell. You're welcome, man.
Finally, I got the stupid legendary essence that I was missing. Oh my god. Finally, man. What's going on, Toxic? So I watched part of your stream yesterday. Hold on, you're quiet. Hold on. I 
So I watched part of your stream stream yesterday, and I had two two um, not opinions, but um, theories on one of the conversations we were having with Alex. You all going in mass detail over the gym update, what it could be, and I didn't watch the whole part because it was a long stream, but. You never came up with these two ideas that I was wondering about that I've heard through YouTube. <clears throat> one, the most basic one, which I highly doubt will possibly be, is where they actually add your stats into the gear stats, which is not a huge change. And two, where your gym rank becomes like your legendary gyms. So where your legendary gyms gives you a certain percentage for your, like in my residence, where's my residence? I got 2,430 residents, which gives me 121%, 121.5% boost in base ability stats, right? But that's only for the legendary gear, not for the set items. But wait, let me get to it. Hold on. I'm showing you an example for you to understand what I'm about to tell you. The other thing was that they brought up through YouTube that I've seen in videos is, yeah, 120. So I'm 240 res. That gives me 121 base stats, etc. Right. So rank one through ten gems will give you a certain percentage, like the residences. So they are like res. They will be like your res boost, but they would be out of your let or out of your um, gems instead of out of the legendaries. So if you're rank ten, we'll just use a one to ten scale, right? We'll say every gym in legendary gives you 10 percent for like one 10 percent or 20 for rank two etc so on right for your residence boost on the right hand side so in your side items rank one would give you 10 boost compared to your base stats rank two gyms would give you 20 boost 30 boost so on and so forth very similar to what the residence does in your legendary gear but it would be the same reasoning on the other side those were two other theories that were brought through YouTube by a couple major YouTubers. That was never thought on. I think in the end of the day it has to be something that people can understand. It can be super complicated. I mean there's a lot of complicated stuff in the game that people don't understand. So um <laughs> but it, a lot it, of for sure though for sure though it makes sense that the gems would be independent for each item and it would depend on the level that the item is so the rank level of the gear that you have the rank level of your gem would be contributing factors to what the boost should be like that is just yeah. things that make sense right so yeah if you have higher rank gems you're going to get a higher base attribute boost that's mm -hmm. um but it's kind of like residents a lot of people don't understand where the percent of residents come like where like hypothetically i got 2400 residents a lot of people don't understand how my increase is 121.5 percent they don't understand where they got that 120 percent of 2000 and 400 ish compared to somebody having 5k getting 250 percent i think it is yeah I think it's about half yeah, it's, it's divided half by 20. You take that value and divide by 20. Yeah. So if we take you 2,000, yeah. whatever, and you divide by 20, that's your percentage of base yeah. attribute growth. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't understand that aspect. So it would be very similar if it did it in some people theories. They're all theories. Nobody's going to know until the day before when the Chinese get their patch and it gets showed. Um, but they're all theories and different aspects of how situations can happen where they're thinking that the gems could be the resonant boost on the left side, depending on your level. So you get a percentage boost per level of gem in a total, however they do the calculations, they'll make up some calculation, kind of like they did with the PVP CR gear and every other thing in the game. Or if it's just an extra base stat, or if it's an extra thing like Alex said, where there's an extra spot or slash. I, I, that was a little wild and to the left and it was very creative but where it makes a new spot on your gear slot or something that he was like saying and some other things and other theories but i'm so confused in seven minutes we're doing both drazen's not around though okay 
Because I think Drez said 10 o'clock in Discord. I think the last comment was 10 in Discord chat. Uh, hold on. So Jazz was probably confused about the timing because Discord was confusing. My gear is so trash. I need upgrades. It all come. It takes time. You forget I had a I had a DH helmet for over 200 levels. <clears throat> I had a 240 DH helmet, reserve gear, for switching to DH for one week of triple triple, and I had it all the way up until almost level 400. It was ridiculous. What's up, Shade Back? Baby, if you want me. And I gotta go teach somebody else how to play Necro now. I shall Did do you a watch? video. I'm gonna do a video. Or I'm gonna do some two YouTube videos. That speaks about stuff. He's not gonna watch the video. He's the type of person who needs one on one. And he came back, so he'll trust. He 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 comes to me for all of his information. It's Zombie Christ. He's switching from Seder. But uh, did you hear Lita's new meta change that he thinks is gonna happen? No. A lot of a lot of whales are going back to barb meta. So he thinks the old meta's coming back. He thinks the Barb, Crusader, Ice Wiz, Meta's gonna come back with Battle Mage. <clears throat> until the blood, until blood, uh, blood Knight comes out. Because Monks can't handle Barb standing on point and slowly pushing it. Bro, I'm finding so, doubles. I'm finding double attribute gears right now that's better than the triples that I have. That's unbelievable, bro. Here's the way you think of it. The data miner said it has a 1% chance of it if you're at server paragon level to get a triple triple ordinary. So you have to think the odds, I mean, this ain't the correct math. I mean, it would be by the percentages, but one out of every hundred pieces of gear is a triple triple. So to get more than one triple triple, you have to grind over a hundred pieces of gear per triple triple. Oh, I get, I get little, hundreds. <laughs> you get hundreds of legendaries and. But the problem is, is you get hundreds of the same type. So if you get 300, you, you get 300 legendaries in a week's time, right? Three yeah. of them drop this triple triple and they're all helmets. You still got five other pieces of gear you got to grind. So it just, it's just pure RNG, which one of those triple triples is going to be when you get that triple triple. I have, I've only been in each. I went into H8. I just started H8 today. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to start grinding a little bit. I already got two triple triples I just either. off the day. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to use for 80 levels. And as you level up, when you discover new pieces of gear, those new gears that you discover will have a higher attribute than the gear that you are finding right now. So why are you wasting the time right now to find gear that you're not going to increase your immediate because um, level? Because I'm doing it in bounties. That's it. They, but you understand what I'm saying though? Like we still have 80 levels. We still have like two months of this shit. Why wouldn't it, like I don't get why people wouldn't want to get immediate gear now that would give you immediate upgrades now versus getting stuff that you're not gonna use for 80 levels and you're going to find things that would be better than it along the way. Like it's Did it's, you did you not see the chat yesterday that I posted that I found two triple triple yesterday upgrades? Four eight seven. Literally. I got a new helmet and a new shield yesterday. And the one are 250s. Nice. You still get yeah. a bunch of 8-7 stuff from random stuff like gambling, bounties, BCRs. Yes. Yeah. Mine I got off the other game. And not only that, your farming, doesn't matter what you farm, your dailies, that piece of drops are going to be 8-7 until then. Uh, I'm going to major grind around two. I already told the rest of the warband a long time ago. I told Alestra, me and Alestra agree, there's no point of grinding H8, but we could do it occasionally. It's not going to hurt to grab your set pieces because your set pieces are set. They're not going to get no better than what they are. 
That's that's the way the game is. So you grind your dungeons. You don't really grind the legendaries. If the legendaries come in the dungeons, they come in the dungeons. But doing you HA dungeon is doing yeah. is getting HA stat items. That doesn't improve at all. Yes, but see, you get legendary gear in there too. It drops. Which it then that's you how can't it use it at all either. <laughs> you can't, but you'll have it when you get there. But you will find it's better along the way in the next two months of grinding. Why do I want to fill up my inventory space right now for things that I can I can actually go and get? eight yeah, seven stuff so then i can get that 100 pity that you're talking about so then eventually i can find a triple that will make sense yeah but i have 300 or i have three stash bits so it's not like the it's not like it was in the past where you you only keep one legend you're not going to keep you only need six legendaries to keep you don't like if you're going to keep the triple triple you keep six of the triple triple if you find a better one you keep it it doesn't take that much space though the set items is what takes a lot of space yes Yes. Me, my theory is I never grind set items. I don't grind them that hard. Do I have three triple triple set items in A7? Yes. One was crafted, one was dropped by the event, and one was dropped by farming. Um, that's the most triple triple I've ever had. But the thing is, is I'm not going to keep any other H7s. I don't really build gear until I get to the H. Like when I went H5, I started building every extraordinary piece of gear there was. Before H5, I didn't care about sets. I'm the same way until I hit H8, until they announced there's going to be H9. I'm not caring about set items. I'm not caring about holding certain stuff. And it's working well for me. Prime example in BGs, I'm at 5,400 in BGs in a week. And only playing night BGs. I'm actually catching you, barbecue. <laughs> but... I'm at 50, I'm at eight right now, 53, 57, and literally all I do is BG at night, but my win percentage is 52%, so I win a lot. I found the, the, the hack that Cliff is doing, and he is only playing defense, or as mm -hmm. much as possible as defense, and yes, the bottom... Yeah, few spots. Back in the day, there's a few spots that is defense guarantee and a few spots that isn't like when you do the bottom right the, uh, so the bottom right uh, like like i'm making notes so i got notes i'm making notes every time i queue i'm, I'm making notes from out of all eight positions the ones that it gives me and the ones that doesn't give me defense is open okay i was i was just staring at it waiting for it i saw two minutes so I was just there. Um, back in the day before this new version, there was a way to guarantee you were on defense every single time. And they patched that in the game. Um, the OG original BGs, when the game first came out for the first like month, two months, people used to do this all the time. It was literally, you could watch and it used to be top eight, bottom eight and it wouldn't random you it would literally put you in there and people would automatically know they click they see where they go then they cancel out now they might have switched it up where they put certain spots to try to trade it up a little bit but when the game first came out it was literally top eight bottom eight people would only play defense you'd take forever to get in the matches it was literally a pain in the ass and then they they fixed that because uh it was like one of the first patches they fixed I think it's still in the patch notes. Um, Barbecue, I got a weird fun build just to do. I got tired of playing the summer build, so I made a new one. Nice. This, this is my new fun build for a little while. It's mage, um, skeletons, uh, these ghost thingies. I can't think of the name of them off the top of my head. And corpse lights. Oh, that's fun. You got the wrong helmet up. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I... Uh, it's because um, uh, I got a new helmet upgrade the other day. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't, I haven't fixed extra X. Same with my shield. Today I was playing, uh, I was running around farming and my shield wasn't... I was having to channel my bone spirits. I was like, fuck. When I was going bounties, I was like, god damn it. And I guess the, the helmet I fucked up too. The helmet's supposed to be archer but I forgot about that bone spirits offhand yeah I like it in place of the uh, 
the uh, I got tired of bone armor. I wanted to change it up. This is like straight, strict DPS. And it's good for farming too. You just drop and walk away. The bone thing follows you around. It does a lot of damage. Like it just critted for me over 60k. I had something with the Grim Slife where you hit the Grim Slife and it makes all your damage do more. And it was critting for like 70,000. But I was like, eh. With the Grim Slife, I had to get rid of one of the other things. And I was like, you know what? I still like a little bit of summon base. So I use well, thank God using that main hand in a pvp like my bone spirit already does a lot of damage like i was against clockwork and it's like took out two-thirds of his health after i died oh like, oh you're talking hit. about my main hand for my bone spirit the yeah. one using. oh I yeah <laughs> i like it i tried it with the archers and i tried it with this and it made a bigger difference on this than it did the archers and the only reason i say that is because the archers are single target so they're all shooting one thing at a time and this thing's aoe the bone spirit before because I feel like the mages have more uptime. The cooldown on that was kind of long. I love the bone spirits. Um, I've used them. I used them in the past over top the uh, regular. I used to use them with golem and everything else. I used to. I have. That's why it's on my uh, charm. Um, the cooldown is pretty long, but the key is is you don't throw them both out at the same time and then have to sit there and wait. You throw one out, and as it's roaming around, your next one's up and available. You like you can keep almost one out, like minus a second difference, kind of thing. So the, I just don't spam them. I just spam all my stuff most of the time. <laughs> I don't pay attention, <laughs> especially in PVE. I want a lot of DPS, like if I'm doing, I've checked it out in Challenge Rifts. I, I didn't really, I still, my Challenge Rifts still really like uh, having all summons because I need the tanks. The more summons, the more tanks you have and the less damage you have to deal with. Um, but for everything else, it's, it's just a fun build to do because the Bone Spirits and the Corpse Lance are very high DPS. And then the rest is just like, I don't know, sustained DPS. I tried a couple different types of mages where the one that does every hit it does, it does up to 30% more damage. That's good on bosses. Like if you're doing a boss, that's really good for a ball. But I, I, I can't get rid of the double, triple mage on the field. Is this the normal? Of mage is, is this normal or endless? This is normal. Yeah, just see the waves. We're on wave yeah, six waves. or eight. Yeah, there's no fog bane. It just keeps getting closer. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell? Always no fog bane. <laughs> yeah, PVE is not really a challenge, so occasionally I'm gonna switch up builds here and there, just have fun. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a big game. The golem again. I haven't used the golem in like months. The game's set up for you to play anything you want in PvE, so why not switch it up and make the game enjoyable while you actually have to do PvE? Oh, I got the blessed pebble on right now. I took a 200 res drop for this. I'm at 3,900 res right now, actually. 2,100 res drop. Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> I have almost 400,000 platinum. I don't know what I'm doing with yet. <laughs> Save it for gems, man. See how I am. Are. I, I can level up two of my gems from rank four to five right now. With the amount of platinum I had. The other day, I had the chance to grab enough to do it. But I was just like, hey, I'm just going to keep saving because I really like the ranking I'm in in BGs. My BGs are very, very even. Very even. I don't see gigantic whales. I see three and four K players a lot now, but I don't see still five K wing players. And I'm eighth with over a fifty percent win ratio. I have fifty two percent win ratio with forty five hundred or fifty four hundred uh, points. Wait for keep ones to pop up Thank for the you ones can. you want. Appreciate those. it, King. The ones I need is Bottle Hope. It's not going to be cheap for the next uh, rank. Yeah. 
um, seeping bile. I have three of them in my bag. I have three bottle hopes in my bag. I could have bought two easily. The other day in the morning, they're always there in the morning. If you wait yeah. past the morning, they're they're gone by the daytime. But uh, and I think the other one. Let me look. It's bottle hope, seeping bile, and Phoenix. Yeah, so Phoenix, which is nothing serious, but those are my rank fours out of four stars. I can get to five. I've just not been in a rush because I really like where I'm at in BGs, and I feel like if I go even slightly higher, it's going to put me out of my BG racket and put me on the bottom and be the weak guy and have to go back to the full CC build. Because the way I have my timing down for BGs right now, I do a lot of kills. <clears throat> oh yes I'm ready for a new competitive mode man it's gonna be clan based like the data miner put out there where the little like get XP get experience get this get that it's gonna be very clan based we're doing endless Which now or are we doing raids raids probably raids we always try to get raids done and then whoever's left over can run endless or whatever at the end we try to get people done if they got to get off or whatever because they're women or this or that let me empty out my stash to make sure i'm clear for this i got a legendary in that the fuck all right let's go ahead and identify and let's jump they, they really need to bring up an extract all button. Yes. That shit is so stupid. And the lock, and, and the lock them. feature. You got to be able to lock some gears, the ones you don't want to extract. That, and they also need to bring in. They need to put the essence trader inside of the blacksmith. They just need to make them all one. Yeah. There should be no point you have to travel all the way back to West Marsh. Just put everybody, let him have one job. He used to have all the jobs anyway. Just give him all of his job back. Put a new category, it says SM Extract above it, where it says Set Crafting. You know? Mm -hmm. You can do your SM changes, all, everything right there. You can still keep that guy down here. Just add it to the blacksmith. You ain't even got to take this guy's job away. Just... I know, right? Why don't take his job away? Yeah, just leave. It's not even a guy. It's just a girl, I think. I'm standing by. It's a girl in a robe, I think. Hmm. So, yeah, don't take her job away. Leave her there. Don't need a minute, Tony. Uh, just empty in the bag really quick. Okay. Because I know we're going to fill it up. And I think I have a warp in chest. Uh, tomorrow I got so many fucking battle pass points to collect. Uh, you need to, uh, I'm, I was doing, uh, dungeon spams for the BP points. I have 3,000 battle pass points in BGs. I'm ready. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's the most I've had in a long time. It's sad because I'm 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 gonna do the same thing over again. I'm gonna save all my battle pass points and slightly go under level. It resets tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it all tomorrow and then save all my battle pass points up again over time. And then if I go under level, I go under level. If I don't, I don't. But tomorrow I should jump up like because tomorrow's the reset. So I got. Four weeks of it saved. I don't know how many weapons you gain out of it, especially getting a boost in XP. Or is it the end of the day tomorrow? We still have tomorrow to play. I make happy by the end, by the end of raids. I just stood there and ate that. I didn't really care because I had yeah. Phoenix there. <laughs> I was like, he's not, he's just going to proc my Phoenix Ash, so fuck it.
I do like the invulnerability stages, how they fixed it. In the dungeons. Because now when they do the little animations, you can still do damage to them. So you don't have to wait for the animation to be over. In COE, you can kill that. Uh, Sting to kill, yeah. Uh, we were doing it the other day. We were killing, we were killing the, uh, we were killing it as it was falling down the floor. And then the last boss, we were killing him before he even got to the, uh, before he even popped back up on the third stage. There's a little lizard or uh, uh, whatever, the little ice beams sling around. When he got done and he was coming back out of the ground, he was dead and the chest was popping up. The same with the worm and pit. You can kill the worm as he's coming out of the ground, as he's jumping now. He, you can do damage to him all the time. I forgot a tower. That one still takes forever. Yeah, that's the only one they didn't fix. I don't really run hit or COE that much. I ran COE the other day with random clan members in Electra because I needed some. And I was like, I don't care what we run. Somebody picked something. And I think somebody said they needed something out of COE. So I was like, sure, let's do it. And it wasn't, it don't take long. COE's fast. Yeah, but last night was ridiculous. I ended up in a party with uh, Outlier and Blanca. We were running H8 Namari. Like, we were killing Siegebreaker before he even like, finished standing up. Especially when we had the Crusader. And then they grabbed like one of their clan members and they were just like ragging on each other the whole time. It was hilarious. Yeah, like the Necro and he wants some help because he said he didn't understand what you were explaining all the way. So I told him I'd help him out. And then, but he's also thinking about changing from Necro to Monk because he wants to get back into PvP real a lot. And he said knows that Monks are overpowered right now in PvP. We need more Necros. <laughs> no, we don't. And we do, bro. It's the only thing that kills Crusaders are Necros. There's so little necros in BG nowadays. Like I've like I feel like majority of the matches I get in, I'm the only necro. There's so many people playing Crusaders, and and it's just you need the necro. Like I don't want more necros in our clan. I don't mind necros in the world, but not in the clan. We have a like half our clan is necros. Like not half, but a good like thirty some plus. There's more Neckers in our clan than anybody else. Blood Knight will come out and stir everything up. Just like Lita said. There'll be a bunch of random builds. Nobody's going to know how to do it, what to do. And then there'll be that set standard build for a little while for everybody. I'm definitely not going to do what everyone else is doing. And yeah. Yeah. what you call it said, uh, the only reason satyrs are being up on Perler again is because the barb meta is coming back. He said a lot of a lot of whales have went back to barb. Now I don't know it so much on our server, other than Sheriff and a couple others, but um, town portal, all the little monks that went over the town portal and went to monk for the OP, they're all going back to the barb meta. Barb Seder meta because it's the monks the monks that's gonna force the monks out of their DPS meta and to their push off meta. Back to kicking the people off the point. Is what Lita was saying. Hey, really like that. In base is very hard to deal with in BG. <laughs> Barbs are still pain in the ass because they're the one class I can't tell when their undying rage is on. Yeah. On the phone. Because sometimes I'll waste my spikes. I'm like, alright, he has no life. He's been sitting there for a good couple seconds, whatever, however long it is. Boom. And I'll shoot it off and still do no damage. Satyrs, I see the little gold shield. Um, I know not to CC on monks. I know when Wraith form pops up. Like, like that's what I was trying to explain to Driston earlier today. Like, everything has a hint but barbs. You cannot tell. And that's the one thing that wastes so many of my corpse lands. So I don't even try to aim on them anymore. I just let them be. No, well, there's a time on it. You just gotta time it. Yeah, but the time is not always right because I, 
when I sent out my corpse lance for me to get the actual kill, I one shot a lot of people but, in my brackets. But hold on a second, like, you're trying to overkill the guy. So the barb gets to one HP, right? They become vulnerable, but they're still at one HP. You don't need to use corpse lance. You can use your primary attack, and if you hit him and he doesn't die, then you know that the thing is still on. Yeah, the problem is primary attack's pretty slow for a necro, and the barb can screw you up pretty bad if you're trying to stand there while he's running around. He's not like Gladiator where he's stuck and not moving. He's I use a, I use the bone spear attacking. <laughs> I like using the bone spear attack for that. Thing. Shoot it at him and run away. If you run the big heads, the yeah. Bone, but I don't, I don't use those. Big heads is a good idea. That's what I used to use on Gladiator people. I used to use all that on Gladiator. I was thinking about putting mages up, but just for like, I don't know. I don't want to use mages in BG. Really squishy though. Yeah. But they hit quick. Yeah. And if they're CC'd, they'll, they'll do a decent amount of damage. Like, I've definitely died from other people's mages before. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the Instead mages creates better corpses than using the skeletons. I hate summons in general in BG because they're all over the fucking place and they take your aggro all the time and it's hard to not shoot them. That's why I really like the Trinity Soulfire because people who use all that shit, when I occasionally see it, it bounces through and it still hits the people. I think I'm going to use... I use their summons to bounce off of I use mage tonight in BG just to see how he behaves. I'm just debating trying to make a summon build. I actually went in with my PVE here, but by accident, I actually did pretty good. I did a summons build one day in the morning. Clockwork was in there and he was on my team, and I was like, Bro, don't feel bad, I'm doing a summons build. And he was like, LOL, and then it was horrible. Built in bears. <laughs> Lita, Lita's got it pretty down pat. He says in the morning, so he's playing Seder right now. He says in the morning he has to go full DPS mode for a Seder. He has to carry. There's certain groups that play certain times. He goes medium in the day. He does like a hybrid build. He has multi builds for PVE or PVP because of the certain times of the day. And then he says at night he goes full support. Long raid. Because that's when change? all the. Did I? Have we didn't do a yet? Hmm? I don't know their names. Uh, it's the, it looks like the bitch with the smoke in the background with the skulls and the grim sight. Yeah, we just got the last two APOS and the frozen guy. Yeah, we got the frozen guy and whoever else. Yeah, it's the one where we have to kill the uh, invisible things and fill up the yeah, the vanishing. <laughs> I'm at 13,014 CR. You're 13,000? 13, 13,014 CR. My gear's still trash. Yeah, you're more than, uh, no, you're right around where, um, which one called is. Sheriff, he's like 13,200 or something. I saw him today and I was checking out his gear to see how far he was. My gear's trash right now. I gotta work on my gear. I gotta do a lot more each seven dungeons. Uh, say, I wouldn't really start farming H7 dungeons until like 50 levels before. That's about on average where I like to farm it. You, you mean H8? H7. I said H7. Or H8, I mean. I felt like I wasn't getting any more upgrades, so I just switched to H8. It well, takes that long to get an upgrade, I'd rather get it an H8 piece. The thing, I'm, I'm your paragon level is getting people. you better. Like I had H8s. I had a I had a trip beautiful triple triple upgrade for H8 legs that I got on earlier on. The amount of upgrades that I've gotten since then, every time I rank up, is ridiculous. It just makes everything that you had prior garbage. Yeah, I mean the the, the max CR difference between one level below and one level above is only six, but if you got a triple triple. You gain two levels, now became 12. You gain four levels, became 24, and the list goes on. And we still got 80 levels to go. Yeah. 
I mean, so yeah, you do 80 times good. six. <laughs> there you go. Why yeah, grind good. now when he down the line is gonna have an extra 200 CR? Yeah, Why you, you say you say the six CR difference for every level, right? You got eighty levels to go. That's four hundred and eighty CR difference well, that's per gear. The only reason I say it's six and a triple triple because it's only two per stat. So if you got a triple triple, the max you can get is two on each. So if it's like a three hundred, it goes to a three hundred two. Yeah. So the, it can be six from that. Yeah. That's from the data miner's uh, little calculator thing that him and his buddy found. Six times eighty is four hundred and eighty. Yep. I think the highest triple triple I have for H8, which I, like I said, I've only gotten two of them, but I, but I haven't really even tried that much in there. I just do my bounties and then go back to, I only farm, I farm H7 dungeons right now, <clears throat> which granted I should probably, I don't, I don't think I have the CR for H8 and I don't like getting carried. Everybody has this. Everybody got the CR for H8. No, I just got the CR for it then because I'm like 11.8. <laughs> like if like you have 10,000, you're more than good enough for H8. Uh, the dungeons are high. 11,800 for him. Yeah, I'm 11,891, so I just got enough. But I'm also trying to... I'm trying to get a new neck for um, H7. I want a Vithu's neck. I want my four-piece Vithu's. So, uh, increase your reach. Yeah. Is that it? That it? That's it. Yeah. It's back to speed runs now. And I got eight Legos from that. So. I don't know. I got a lot of gold too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight. And one, two, three, chest. That's a lot None of them were anything to deposit. <laughs> uh, trash, 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 double, double, trash. Yep, everything's fucking trash. I can't expect much. I got two triple triples like yesterday or the day before. So, my triple triples are out for a while. I should have saved those for a while. Oh, did you guys know? Um, I meant to tell you this. Have you been saving all those little, like, you know, the little, like, green and legendary gears? Mystery set items, items, mystery legendary items? Yes. Yeah, you should be saving those because yep. they scale off your level and not off of what, when you get them. Yep. yep. I don't think a lot of people actually know that. I forgot to say that a time ago because I got a fuck ton of. We said we up. said it on a couple of Shadow Wars. Yeah, we uh, had it that in Discord too, I think somewhere. Yeah, we shared in Discord and Shadow War before to other people. We talk about so much shit half the time. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Now I gotta sit here and go through piece by piece to extract the fucking thing. I finally put all of my stuff I wanted to keep in my bag, so it's way easier to sell. <laughs> I got more shit to extract that doesn't show extract. God damn it. That's from game one. Where I didn't identify, it's just sitting there. Is there anything else? I got that, uh... No. Actually, PvP just opened? Yes, it did. Dang. Mm -hmm. That went quick. Trying to get up in the 50... I'm at 54 almost. So I'm trying to be like 56 before my day. I'm still getting 50 points per win. And earlier I played like four of them and I won all four. So I gained like 200 points earlier playing four matches at dinner. Where's my PvP gear? Activate. And now we're getting to the Paragon tree where all my Paragon points are starting to equal out. <clears throat> From where I've kept it the same since I never flopped over back in like 240 where I had the glitch mastermind thing. So now I'm starting to get all the rest of the nodes. 
my damage potency and health nodes is what I'm going after. And at 460, I will be a force into reckon with. I'm going to gain like 10, 10 Paragon levels tomorrow, probably. I don't know. What's the server Paragon? What's server Paragon? 518. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll gain about 10 levels or more. Yeah. Six. Easily. Six. Oh shit, I'm still in the raid. I gotta leave the raid. Fuck. 26 plus 6 is 32. Fuck. Hello, Claire. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 32, 33, 48. What's your hell aquarium on barbecue? Because I, I missed one week, so I know I'm behind. Um, I might be able to get to 42 now. Yeah, so, I figured it maybe would be the 42. I think I'm a week behind on it now. 48 levels. Close. I actually might be, I might be right around where you all are because I think I did it. You're the only one who's done every single raid with a warband since the beginning, other than me. I just got to 42 and I got 61 of the material left over. Yeah, so I need to go check out. I need to go get rid of all these and I might be able to make 42. I might just be shy. Sooner or later, I might go back one level by one or two. Because 60 sounds like I can still hit it then. At 565, I will have every single damage potency and armor penetration nodes in the paragon trees all of them full glass skin i don't hunt for armor pen that much oh those corpse lens have been doing it. a lot more damage with the armor pen i have it but i don't hunt it that hard because that's where all my blue gems are set so i still go the health with me being a low low res player the health really helps and low res with my PvP CR because I checked the Shadow Wars. I'm only like, I watched somebody stream. It was barbecue stream. It was this short clip on the Shadow Wars. I watched the recap of the stream because I go through and rewatch just some streams to give them extra views if I miss them to help them out. Um, and that was one of the clips. And he was like 25 or 26 um, PvP CR, and I'm at like 23, almost 24. I'm not far behind him with my Paragon bill. Yeah, I dropped a lot of my health yeah. off my Paragon. Yeah. That's what helps me out in PvP, is being a low res, is keeping my PvP CR so high. I know, I kind of dropped it, because like now I'm getting better at playing BGs. So I gotta not get hit as much. I'm taking advantage of it, because I'm getting a little bit more cocky with this type of build sometimes. And not only that, me being the top DPS on my end, like I got 4K wings in here with me, and I watch, I'll still out DPS them. Me yeah. being top like, DPS on my side, I have to hold the points sometimes, and it's a pain in the ass to just stay in there and take damage. Yeah. Cool. I was like, if I get GC'd and the whale's attacking me, like I'm going down. Like I can't survive that no matter what I do. So, figured <laughs> just try not to get hit as much. <laughs> Most what I said, if you had an extra 10,000 points of life, guess what? You would take an extra 10,000 points of damage before your gladiator will proc and do nothing you could do about it. So might as well just take all the points away from life, throw it everything into potency or so your fear has a better millisecond of duration increase. Your sipping bottle takes harder, longer. It never takes longer, it just harder. I mean it will take hard longer if you have potency, but it's it doesn't take longer because you have more health. Mm, correct. So potency to me is more sexy than health. That's why I have potency with my third stats. It's not armor fence. Because most people don't go after armor. So you don't need a lot of it to crit through when the max crit is only 10% in PvP. You go through most people's builds and you don't. The armor is like their lowest on their stats. So it doesn't take a whole lot to, to crit on people to get that 10% crit chance. 
you and I are in a completely different brackets. This is true. Um, I wish ways. I could actually, I wish, I honestly wonder how good I would do because of what I'm doing with my 2K res against 4,500 res players. I honestly wonder. You're the same time as me. I mean, Olu gets in my in my bracket. I see Olu all the Alistair time. Unless you're the freeze whiz too. It's a little different scenario for him. Freeze whiz is like awesome in PPP. <laughs> they got the hell of a distance. They got, yeah. Wizards are the bane of existence in PvP for me. I hate them. What a I was in one match with him and he went like 17 and 0. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the bane of existence. Oh, the old one 17 and 0? Yeah, he Jesus. was like standing behind me all the time, like stealing my kills. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's tricky, tricky. <laughs> I still did pretty good. I think I went like 13 and 5 or something. Like. Like I'm sitting here watching this wizard with his fucking ice beam freezing everybody as they come out of spawn. I know that's gotta be annoying as shit. <laughs> He's on my team at least, but I still think wizards are the most OP class in the game in PvP. Just people don't realize and stuff. I think it's not cool. Yeah, because the beams are invisible. They don't know what's killing them. Actually, yeah. no, I'll take that back. Barbarians might also be. Uh, they're close, yeah. Barbarian by far. They're, they're like, I don't know, they're hand in hand. Because a barbarian can get melted by a, a 7k barbarian can get melted by a 7k wizard with the melt beam. That one guy you always talk about that's in PvP that does whatever 20 some kills with zero deaths with the yeah, beam exactly. build. Yeah. So, I mean, I just think yeah. it's. I don't know. He's very tough Pretty to deal with. Powder. I'm gonna have to go back to try to kill him. It's like I'm dealing with the whole back line. A barbarian yeah, dies if it's too greedy and aggressive. A barbarian that backs away and 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 like a, a barbarian that plays a barbarian that used to play a necro that you had to like like with a corpse lens build that you gotta run fear and, and get out. If you played a necro with that mentality and you're going to the barb and you use the same mentality after your cheat deaths, everything procs and you back out, chill, and then you go back in, you you would never die. You could yeah, shift any true. momentum. Like charging at people with zero health. But, Correct. But, <laughs> Which a lot of our parents do true. that. Like they're super greedy. Like they, they have yeah. their cheap. They have two G de chi deaths proc, and they're still there, sitting like idiots. Oh yeah, yeah, bro, you're gonna die. <laughs> like, yeah, but if, that's the only way you're gonna win on attack, you know, is if they're aggressive and constantly stay up on point. If they keep backing out, they're never gonna get that idol anywhere. So that idol is just gonna be idled, stopped. Every time they have to back out to get out to reset all their skills and this and that, that auto is going to go right back to where it was. It's Not be... necessarily, man. You, yeah. if you're more effective if you back out and you wait for an extra person to charge in with you than if you're going solo and you keep pushing things solo by yourself. Oh yeah. There's many crazy. scenarios where waiting for a teammate. No pointer. Nobody in PvP should ever solo push unless you're like. 5k wingers and you're in a 1k winger lobby where you're just spawn killing or your side of the crew is demolishing you have like every top bg in the game on your side and they don't it doesn't make zero sense to ever push by yourself i do all no the matter time because nobody else does <laughs> <laughs> i mean like on defense it's a whole different world i'll sit on the point i don't care i'm a necro i'll die I don't care to Let's hold that see. point. First match, I'm right. getting probably attack. Yep, fuck. Fluffy Puffy. Hmm. Oh, I got ammo in my side. And Cleansy, Matia. <laughs> and got jokes.
But our first W of the night, there's a free 50 point. Yeesh. Needs six more BP points to cap. Sixty? Six. <laughs> Did a lot of dungeons last night. No reset. It's so good killing Blue Rose people, right? Plus to be our That's how I feel about war. <laughs> when I see war in there, I love killing them. I love getting a kill on chair. You can only do it probably once per PG, but I usually get one in on them. And I see a Crusader, like I'm so focused on killing Crusaders now. I'm training He's back in barb, dude. I don't ever get to see Sheriff anymore. He used to be on Twitch streams all the time fighting in them big BG matches. I don't ever see him on any big boy Twitch streams I watch anymore. He just does his three day and that's it. Yeah, because he only had like 3,000. Yeah. I used to watch every elf all the time, but now I BG more than I watch. Yeah, like I'll usually all see some of the whales, but I'm doing like BGs for like the full two hours. Oh, Demon Hunter Bastard. Oh. I don't know, this rain I haven't been seeing as many whales. I don't know. I've been thinking it was my wind rate, but I don't know if they're just not playing so much. As they're hiding. Yeah. They're in hibernation mode. Guinevere, Rezo, all those big boys that were usually up there, they're not in this. When they took a mortal. They seem, I, I really think they set their immortal things around BG times, which it just wears them out and they don't have the time to do it. Yeah, they don't feel like playing all day. <laughs> puffy Puffy hits hard, man. man oh I gotta change my warband room that's what it is I'm still using the movement speed warband room I'm like bro <sighs> I'm on survivor that hurts Monks of the Hell. One, two, three. Fuck. Bro, 
Bro, these monks don't stop freaking moving. How can you hit the guy? 